Seawater could have provided phosphorus required for emerging life. We're taking a look at another phys.org. So the problem how phosphorus became a universal ingredient for life on Earth may have been solved by researchers by the University of Cambridge and the University of Cape Town who have recreated primordial seawater containing the element in the lab. What did their results show? Published in the journal Natural Communication show that seawater might be missing a source of phosphate, meaning it could have been available on a large enough scale for life without requiring special environmental conditions. This could really change how we think about the environment in which life first originated, said co-author Professor Nick DeCasa from Cambridge's Department of Earth Sciences. The study, which was led by Matthew Brady, a PhD student from Cambridge's Department of Earth Sciences, shows that early seawater could have held one 10,000 to 10,000 times more phosphate than previously estimated, as long as the water contained a lot of iron. Phosphate is an essential ingredient in creating life's building blocks, forming a key component of DNA and RNA, but it's one of the least abundant elements in the cosmos in relation to its biological importance. When in its mineral form, phosphate is also relatively inaccessible, and it can be hard to dissolve in water so that life can use it. Now, what did scientists find? They've long suspected that phosphorus became part of biology early on, but they've yet, but they have only recently begun to recognize the role of phosphate in directing the synthesis of molecules required by life on Earth. Experiments show that it makes amazing things happen. The chemica- chemists can synthesize crucial biomolecules if there is a lot of phosphate in the solution, but the exact environmental need to produce the phosphate has been a topic of discussion. Some studies have suggested that when iron is abundant, then phosphate should actually be even less accessible to life. This is, however, controversial because early Earth would have had an oxygen-poor atmosphere where iron would have been widespread. To understand how life came to depend on phosphate and the sort of environment that this element would have formed in, they got carried out in the geochemical modeling to recreate the early conditions on Earth. It is exciting to see how simple experiments in a bottle can overrun our thinking about conditions that were present on early Earth, said Brady. In the lab, they made up seawater with the same chemistry thought to have existed on Earth's early history. They also ran an experience in an atmosphere of starved oxygen, just like on ancient Earth. And the team's results suggest the seawater itself could have been a major source of the essential element. It doesn't necessarily mean that on life Earth started in seawater, said Tosca. It opens up a lot of different possibilities for how seawater could have supplied phosphate to different environments. For instance, lakes, lagoons, or shorelines where sea spray could have carried the phosphate on the land. And previous scientists have come up with a range of generating phosphate, some theories involving special environments such as acidic, volcanic springs, or alkaline lakes, when we found in meteorites. We had a hunch that iron was the key to phosphate solubility. There just wasn't enough data, said Tosca. The idea for the team's experiments came when they looked at waters in the Badman sediments deposited in the Baltic Sea. It was unusual because it's high in phosphate and iron, so we started to wonder what was so different about those particular waters. In the experiment, the researchers added different amounts of iron from the range of synthetic seawater samples, tested how much phosphorus could hold before the crystals formed minerals separated from liquid. Then they built these data points into a model that could predict how much phosphate ancient seawater could hold. The Baltic Sea poor waters provided one set of iron samples they used to test their model. They could reproduce that unusual water chemistry perfectly, said Tosca. From there, we went to explore the chemical seawater before any biology was found. The results have implications for scientists trying to understand the possibilities for life beyond Earth. If the iron puts more phosphate in solution, then this could have relevance to earthly Mars, said Tosca. Vents for water on ancient Mars is abundant, including old riverbeds, flood deposits, and we also know that there was a lot of iron at the surface, and the atmosphere was at times oxygen poor, said Tosca, and the simulations of surface water filtering through rocks on Martian surface suggest that iron-rich waters may have supplied phosphates in the environment, too. It's going to be fascinating to see how the community uses their results to explore new alternative pathways for evolution of life, our path, and beyond, said Brady.